Okay, so first up, we've got Lisa Isaacson is the uh, CBDO, which I guess is the Chief Business Development Officer at New Leads. New Leads? New Leads? New Leads. Uh, and they're going to go first because they've got some really snazzy, cool stuff that requires some unique attention. So give a round of applause for Lisa. This is really classic because you get to stand right here at this mic, and guess what? You can't see the clock. I have, I can't see it at all. So, give me a little <laughs> heads up when I start running out. So, um, thank you guys all for showing up, Miles and Brent. Thanks for so much for setting this up. This is an awesome venue. I kind of feel like I'm in the shark tank because we have a shark in the tank behind us here. Um, so, I'm with Lisa Isaacson. I'm with New Leds. We have developed. Can I see it now? Oh, shoot. Okay, I can see us now. We're running, up and running. Okay, hold on one second. Let me grab my product. So what we have developed is power over Ethernet LED lighting systems. So instead of running a conduit and an and MC or BX cable, line voltage, 277 above the ceiling, all that, we have created power over Ethernet LED lighting systems. They all run on a single Cat5 jack. So you plug it in, and you get your power and your data. I'll try not to blind you when this fires up, uh, over the Ethernet cable. Uh, along with this comes all the communication and putting the Internet of Things at every light fixture. So each light fixture has a, has a sensor hub where you can plug in ambient light sensors or motion sensors or even temperature sensors, broken window sensors, and, and the list goes on and on. Each sensor has its own unique identifier. So by plugging it into any fixture, it becomes on the network. You can now, you can now scan it, send it policies, tell it what lights to, to control or where to, where to mine the data and send the data back to. Uh, our, all of our controllers, we have the intelligence at the light fixture. So by plugging it into the Ethernet cable, it now has its IP address and all the intelligence is right here. You send it single packets over the Ethernet and it will dim, it will change colors. You can use those color beacons for different types of, of indicator lights. So for example, this center beacon here could be outside of a doctor's office and if a patient's in there and the doctor doesn't want to be disturbed, you can, have, you can set that to a particular color. It can also be part of like an emergency system. So if someone calls 911, this beacon can flash red over the table of, of the person that called 911. Or if you need to find a doctor and a doctor, you know, you can, you can have a color avatar for that doctor and fi find them in a system. So there's lots of different uh, lighting as a service applications that can be um, used using this system as well. Uh, we're also doing things like uh, motion sensors, so, so you can tell, say a, a retail store could actually tell where the traffic is in the building through the light fixtures. Uh, moving forward, we also have um, using like GPS type systems. So um, cutting the cost of installation significantly by, by porting it over the Ethernet using this Cat5 cable. Uh, we are out of Vista, California. We, are, uh, we, we opened in 2011. Uh, we have partnered with Cisco for the last year and a half to, uh, to help develop this product, and we are bringing it to market through the IT channels. And uh, we're very excited about it. It's, um, it's really taken off well. We are currently working uh, with projects in the UK and Brazil and uh, the US as well. So I am under my, my five minutes. <laughs> Okay, so I can go right into questions. Yep. I can hear you, but I can't hear you. I, can I turn the lights on? I can. Okay, so let me grab the iPad here. I can't. Or Chris, you want to operate this here? I'm going to bring my lovely assistant Chris in here. So we've got it hooked up on the iPad. It can be operated over an iPad or any kind of a, a mobile device or through a computer system. And you can set, uh, you can set policies like after-hour policies or what do you, you got it there? Yeah. Okay, so Chris is going to, he's on his iPad over here in the, in, on the side. So um, turn the center light red and turn the white lights to 50%. Turn the white lights off. <laughs> or off. 
Okay. So we've got about a 10 second delay on the wireless side of things. So um, the slide is a service. We've, we, uh, we did Cisco Live last year in San Diego, and we had many people coming to the booth and talking about different uh, applications for this light as a service. Uh, we had some, um, some guys that worked in mines and talked about using it. This is a canary monitor. So it could tell you by the color what type of a situation you might be in, and then it could actually flash you how to get out in the case of an emergency. Light on. Okay, I'm going to put the light on you until you figure it out. <laughs> yeah, the heat is on, Chris. See? <laughs> cool. yeah, um, did, you turn it, did you turn that to zero miles or am I out of time? No, you're out of time. Okay. Okay, questions in just a minute. Thank you. Woo. Thanks, guys. Okay, our five minutes. Oh, good. Some lights in the audience. That's good. Oh, hello. There it is. Feedback. <laughs> okay, guys. Of course, you have some questions. How can you use this in your home? How much? Are there, are there distance limitations? So it's, it's a standard 802.3 AF or, or, or standard Ethernet. So 100 meters is, is, the, is the distance. And with a PoE port, PoE plus port, you can get 30 watts per port, guaranteed 25.5 watts at 100 meters. <laughs> you can, can I, does the, like a repeater? So, so if you had longer distances, what you would do is you'd put a, you, you'd put a remote switch in the ceiling and then, and then you can spider web, kind of like a dandelion, where you have one main feed going out, and then it can dandelion out to the local, to the local fixtures. So that's what you do if you had really long distances. Hi, um, I'm in the back here. Okay. I was wondering if your device is uh, weatherproof. Wet approved? Uh huh. Wet -approved. Well, we, we're, we're all indoors right now. We're not doing anything exterior at the moment. However, we partnered up with. Uh, Deco lighting, and they do a whole line of exterior fixtures. So that is something we're moving towards. So you talk about lighting as a service. Are you? Is the business model actually that you are um, renting or leasing, or somehow, or are you actually selling these uh, items, you know, at a time to companies, or how does that work? So the light as a service is actually just more for using the dimming features and the RGB features and the sensor features. Um, the, the business model is the software. We give away our basic software for free to be able to control the lights and dim the lights. And then if you want to use the light as a service, that becomes a, 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 a per month or per year charge to use that, that option. IPv4 or IPv6? IPv4. If you say IPv4, you don't expect to sell too many of these. Well, so we're now we're IPv4, but we're making provisions to go IPv6. and we want to sell a whole lot of them. 